Asia Who is the immigrant? If we are living in the same land, sharing the same sun Today's Who Impact the Talks will delve into the journeys of our immigrant guest. Now let's begin with Mr. Louis Morrow, Cuban-born producer on Lisa Francis' narrative feature films. He received the Independent Spirit Award nominations for co-writing and producing and Be Real. He was nominated for Best Actor at the American Black Film Festival for his role as Alberto in Cuba Set Love and Suicide. Beyond his film work, Louis is the founder of Transparent Technologies, a strategic marketing, sales, and training company. Welcome to Impact, Louis. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's amazing. It's, really great. it's beautiful to see you uh, evolve in the American dream. Absolutely. And today's yeah. all about that dream. We yeah. couldn't have been doing all this work and not someday talk right, about this dream. It's getting younger and younger. That's why I want to know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, it's the American dream. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. So yeah. um, it's obvious mm. that you're Cuban born. Tell us a little bit about your journey to the United States. Uh, wow, my journey to the United States. Well, the, the quick version is uh, uh, my mother uh, escaped from Cuba. Right. And we went to uh, uh, Mexico, actually. Mm -hmm. And I was in Mexico, La De Efe, for about a year. Mm -hmm. And then from there, uh, it was a different time. A little, uh, it was a different time, I should say. Yes. And, uh, and then at that time, my father, uh, who escaped from Cuba also, but into, into the United States, uh, drove into Mexico about a year later yes. and picked us up. And we were able to cross the border. Lucky, because it was just pure. There wasn't the checkpoints like today. And, and then at that point... Um, Came in and then I followed all the paperwork and became a legal citizen and mm -hmm. did that whole. Pro I actually had to leave the United States again and go to Canada to get my green card and then come back. Wow. It was a whole process. I mean, I, I became a, 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 a U.S. citizen when I was in college already. I, I remember doing the interview mm -hmm. and I was uh, playing football at Rutgers University and answering the questions and the woman's like, w "What are you doing here? Like, you're American." I'm like, no, I just study <laughs> but I'm, I'm still I need my I need my That's interesting. I need my citizenship yeah. papers you know so how and, uh, you know how did you yeah. evolve from there to where you are now you do so much I mean you've accomplished tell us some of the things that you've done because you know immigrants get stigmatized every day and sometimes it just you know it's so annoying Thank you. that's a good question so uh, often people see my work in the film industry um, or some performance stuff in the mortgage business yes. the consulting work and I just take a step back and I just let them know, look, it's really all the same thing. Mm -hmm. so what do we, it's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. Yes. Whether it's a movie, whether it's a business, um, you still need a title and it has to be a good title. And you need a log line and it has to be a good log line. Correct. And you need a good story and you need good characters, whether it's uh, the characters in a movie or a film or a documentary, real life people, or in a business plan. Correct. The cashier is a character in a business plan. Mm -hmm. And you need your audience. So the structure is really all the same. Yes. There's a story, and I always say the, the, the team with the best story, the guy with the best story wins. Whether Absolutely. it's in business, whether it's a radio show, uh, whether it's a film or documentary, um, you got it, it, the elements are all the same. We're, yes. we're, we're, we're such creatures of stories, mm -hmm. uh, as human beings, yes. that we dream where we're sleeping, we're telling stories. <laughs> so <laughs> what, We're like all story now, and people resist that. They act yes. like it's not that. Oh, no, it's your total story. Thoughts rule, and if you don't think thoughts rule, you're unconscious. That is true. Mm. So, have you? Do you think you found your dream, your American dream, or is it a journey? What is it's dream a journey? Definitely, definitely a journey. Definitely okay. a journey. Like, uh, um, you know, we we're talking before about, it and everybody had great mm -hmm. points, and all those points uh, uh, evolve into uh, what I call it's a possibility. Uh, there's so many opportunities, so many possibilities. Mm -hmm. This country, there's so many opportunities in this country that if you don't like anything that's available. You could actually make one up. That's true. I mean, you can always you, reinvent uh, yourself. Reinvent something. Find people that, and that's what you've done, and create something. So, um, uh, what what I've done personally is I've always followed my self expression. Mm -hmm. um, one of my friends called uh, says, "Louis, you've you've tasted a lot of slices of the pizza of life, like a lot mm -hmm. of slices." Yes. I like the way they said that. Yes. Um, and there's pros and cons to that. Correct. Because um, you know, when so you is there any one thing in there that you? particularly feel passionate about? Do you have passion? For I, I love the anything? storytelling the most. I love okay. writing the most. I love creating the structure the most, mm -hmm. whether I'm doing a business plan and somebody's running with that business yes. or somebody has an idea and then help them formulate it so they could go get funding for it uh, or whether it's doing a movie or a project or doing stand-up comedy or something. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I love, I, I love, I love us. I love humans. And <laughs> so, so I love stories. Last question for you. <laughs> what are you doing here that you would not have been able to do if you were in Cuba? Uh, 
Okay, do I have to tell question? Because what is it? I know you came here really young. Yeah. Um, what so is it that with you what I know, well, I made a movie here. in Cuba, so I've been back and okay. I'm familiar with Cuba. Yes. Um, what I'm doing here that I could not do in Cuba mm -hmm. is uh, one is for sure travel and move around the way we could move around here. Okay. Because you know I live in Santa Barbara. I'm here in LA. Tomorrow I could be in New York, and next week I could be somewhere else. So you can't necessarily do that in Cuba. Okay. Uh, n you can't necessarily do that in Cuba. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, leave Cuba. You know, we could go to other places, etc. So there's there's a uh, the, that freedom, that freedom to be, the obstacles that exist in this country, mm -hmm. most of them we are self-imposed. Self For example, stay out of debt. Yes. Stop it. Well, it's part of the dream to, to be able to get a credit card. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, <laughs> depends on whose dream. <laughs> I know, right? Maybe the credit <laughs> the, card the company's, credit company's dream. dream is to get a credit card. <laughs> somebody's yeah, yes. somebody's dreaming it. Well, <laughs> thank you so much. I know. We want to keep this conversation <laughs> going, so you're going to have to come back. With pleasure. Okay, your story is very inspiring, mm. and thank you for sharing. This is Impact on KPFK 90.7 FM. If you're just tuning in, that was Mr. Louis Morrow, who really shared some inspiring words. Thank you so much, Louis. Thank you. Is the immigrant if we are living in the same land sharing the same sun? Who is the immigrant if we are coming from the same mother of creation? Who is the immigrant? So no matter where you come from, this is not important. Who is the immigrant? Who are your bad against your brother man? No one is illegal, so we all born free. So we keep the ghetto people them the opportunity. You know, see, we need more justice and equality in every little community. Yeah. No one is superior. Your little money can make me inferior. I need a spiritual child, no material. So don't forget the teachings of his imperial majesty. And this is my message to humanity. Jaja give we love abundantly. With love we can live for eternity yeah. Rastafari shine a light for all to see Food, clothes and shelter for me